Hello everybody, I'm Foul Shane, and welcome to Let's Play The Room, a room escape game made by an indie developer that's been getting extremely or rather overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam, so I decided to check it out. I've always been a really big fan of these types of games, especially like going back all the way to the old Flash games that I used to play on Newgrounds, but this one was getting such great reviews, they just recently overhauled the graphics, so I decided it would be worth checking out. So. Without much further ado, let's jump right in. <sighs> okay, tutorial! Alright, click to begin. That I can do. Click and drag the mouse to look around. Woo! We got some kind of crazy armoire looking thing here. Double click on the envelope at the top of the safe to focus on it. Okay, so it's a safe. Ah, this one, I'm assuming. Alright, let's see what the... Uh, you came! I did. I knew your curiosity would get the better of you. Please excuse the mess. I never. My housekeeper abandoned me shortly after the rest of the world. Okay, what happened to you? The answers you seek are inside this box. Oh, how convenient. Along with something else. Something else. Something they said could never be built. Ooh. It is the only one in existence and it is the key to incomprehensible power. I'm getting amnesia vibes from this game already. This safe was constructed to keep it from lesser minds. Yep, definitely getting am amnesia vibes here. I have every faith in you solving its mysteries. You always were the smart one. Why, thank you. You know, I always said that. With the enclosed key, I gift you one parting favor. Keep this eyepiece with you always. Without it, you are as blind as the rest. The stakes are higher than you could possibly imagine. Oh, okay. Well, click on the key to click. I tried game. A small brass key with an animal motif. Why, thank you. Uh, okay. Rotate the lid to line the hole. Was it going to tell me how to play the entire game? Probably not. Probably just the tutorial. Uh, the key go to hole. Okay, at least I, <laughs> I'm able to figure that much out. And pick up the eyepiece. Alright, a curious eyepiece. Okay, and click on it to put it on. Um, it doesn't seem like... Oh, it doesn't do anything. Perhaps something is missing. What does the note say? Let's find out. Feed me and I shall survive. Give me drink and I shall die. Oh, great. It's a riddle. Much like the game decides to point out right after I say it. The solution must be here somewhere. Well, the only thing that comes to mind when I think of things that can be fed but not given drink is fire. And I don't necessarily see... Is that, I mean, that's a window. And that looks like a lamp. That's not necessarily a fire. Uh... What's this thing say? Talisman. Can I click on it? Uh, bespoke safes for the gentry. Guard thief and fireproof. Okay, so it's fireproof. So, at least if there is fire in here, it won't get damaged. Uh, hmm. Oh, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, I see a thing. I see a thing. Fire. Wood feel feeds it, but water puts it. Yes, thank you. I Thank you, game, for pointing out the obvious. Let's just, I guess, click on it. Oh. Okay, so that's the kind of game this is going to be. A peculiar old key. There's something unusual about this key. I should take a closer look. Do I have to use... Oh, just click on it. Okay. Oh, alright. So I can... It looks like I can turn the end to make different shapes. Oh, so it's actually several keys in one body. But, well, what's this thing? Oh, it looks like some kind of... Oh! You know what? That's actually pretty convenient, isn't it? Eh. And what are we here? Some kind of dagger or cross or something? An ornately engraved metal plate. The end looks like it could be used as a wrench. Alright. Uh, can I unscrew things? No? Uh, can I, I mean, that's the thing that it was on, so I probably can't use it there. Um, how about on these things? No? Okay, what's this? Ah, ah, I see. Um, I probably have to adjust this. Eh. Yeah, like that? Okay, maybe it's only two. I thought it might have been four since it's a cube-esque design. Alright. And what does this do? Okay. Is it a gong? Oh, I didn't get the chance to read that. Oops. Maybe I had to put the eyepiece on? Oh, it's just an eyepiece. Okay, I guess not. Maybe I have to figure out where this cross-shaped thing goes. Is anything here? I can't even zoom in on any of this stuff. Um, oh, 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 hold on, hold on. There we go, yes! Found it! Oh, and a lens. I wonder what I'm supposed to do with that. Okay. Oh! Okay. 
Stuff just got really weird all of a sudden. Things just got really extraterrestrial all of a sudden. Uh, well, okay, well, let's see what this does now. Uh, I'm assuming I can probably, yeah, I can rotate these. I probably have to make a shape or a pictogram of some variety. Um, all right, is it like a hazard symbol? Like a biohazard symbol? Oh, oh, no, looked like it was a Celtic knot or something. Didn't really get the chance to look at it before. Hello. Um, sure. Guess we'll just open up. Is this the thing? Is it, uh, well, well, let's take a closer look. Chapter complete. Woo! Pleasing progress, but do you really think you have proven yourself yet? I guess not, if I still have to continue playing. Okay, now we have a smaller box. <laughs> Some kind of strange pyramid shape thing these three seals stand between me and the contents of this box so what you're saying is i have to repeatedly jam something into them until it opens well one of them's just an eye uh well that looks like the same symbol can i just play it with an eye symbol it doesn't seem to move okay so much for that idea uh how about this okay we got some oh it's like a safe okay we have some we need to find a combination somewhere. Ooh, and what is this? Some kind of uh, dial or something. A plate with a cog symbol on it. Doesn't seem to move. Does any of this move? A circular orientation. It seems to connect to the mechanism inside. Uh, can I click on the star thing? A star-shaped indentation. How lovely. Useful. Very, very decorative. I, I approve. Ooh. Star I don't have the key anymore because that's what that kind of looks like. Uh... All right, maybe I have to find something to fill those dashes in? Oh, you know what? I haven't actually been using... Oh! Well, okay, well, this certainly got more interesting. There's a five over here. Okay, they probably correlate to the the four sides of the, of the dial. So we got a five and a seven. This one looks like it's all broken. Uh, do I have to find... It? Oh, okay, I guess that's a two. So five, two, seven... And the bottom one, ooh, is that another seven? Or a, no, no. Is it a five, maybe? No. Oh, oh, a six. Okay, I see you down there. So five, two, seven, six. Gotta remember that. Five, two, seven, six. Five, two, seven, six. Five, five, not two. Five, two, seven, and six. No? Didn't do anything for you? Oh, oh, hold on. I put the seven and the six in the wrong locations. Uh, actually, I put everything in the wrong location. Oh, man. Okay, there we go. Now everything's in the right... Oh, I don't like the fact that it just made a noise there. What is this gonna do? This better not explode my face or something. I swear to God, I'm putting my faith in you, box. And I died. No, okay. Camera? Uh, excuse me? I don't want... I, I don't want that. What is it? Some kind of periscope. Do I have to put the lens back on? Ooh, it's green now. But it doesn't seem to really reveal anything. I can't rotate it. I can't move it. Oh, wait. Is this anything? Open. Open sesame. No? Is, is there anything on here? No. Okay. Can I rotate this? Oh, oh, oh. I need probably need tinder or something to ignite. So I need to find something to put in there. Okay. Um... Oh, 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 paper. Paper, paper, paper. February 11th. My research continues at a snail's pace. With these barbaric instruments, I can barely read anything at all. But there is something there. Between earth and fire. Between water and air. I cannot see it, but I can see its presence. Like the shadow of the object without substance, yet betraying the shape and form of that which casts it. It is the final element. Null. Hey, fifth element. Great movie. It brings meaning to the rest, just as all the numbers of the world are meaningless without the zeros. The circle... The circle are pretty... Oh, okay, I guess it's an organization. The circle are petty fools, blinded by the dark arts and their greed. Alchemy is... Yep, definite... Sorry to keep interrupting, but definitely getting a huge amnesia feel from this. Alchemy is not the pursuit of callow gold. It is the pursuit of this! Okay, well, thank you for that. Um... Can I take that with me? I'd really like to bring the paper with me. I'd like to burn this. Also, who is, I guess, AS? That will become clear later. Oh, okay, here's another cowl. 
Um. Okay, so I have to spell some kind of word? Was there a hint as to... No! No, 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 no. Of course not. Well, so much for that idea. I don't suppose that the magical word I'm supposed to spell here is supposed to be kill, is it? No. Is it evil? Is it evil? There's no V, is there? It's not lock, is it? I will be infinitely angry at this game. Nope. I'm not going to sit here and try to consider every four-letter word I could possibly spell with these letters. Oh, wait, another one. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. Hold on, because I see this one. Okay, there... It's some sort of beaker thing. Okay, and that looks like it... Ah, correlates with this. So this has to be that strange beaker shape. Is it not here? Now I'm just confused. Because this one up here... There was another one over here. And it looks like... Some kind of square with lines coming out of it and through the top. So that has to be this. But none of them... Oh, wait. Okay, so there's that. So... Oh, wait, wait. There we go. There we go. Okay, so did I just miss it? I just missed it. I'm just an idiot. That's all it was. Okay. So I got two. I need two more. I can't seem to find... The other two... Oh, wait, wait. Is that a latch? Is that a latch on that box? Eh. Let, yes! Okay, cool. Nice. And inside we have... Ooh. This looks like a winding mechanism, but there should be some sort of key. Oh my god! Nothing you find in this game is actually what you're looking for. Okay, so now... Ooh. No, I used that one already. I looked at that already. Now I need a key. Can I look under the box? I can't look under the box. Damn. Alright. Uh... Oh, oh, what the, the book! Suddenly a book. An ancient leather bound book. The cover seems very ornate. What does the cover look like? Oh, ooh, ooh, Does that, wait, can I unclasp it? No? I don't seem to be able to actually open it. Oh, wait, okay, okay. Uh, that and that. Okay, now that looks like it could go here? No. And book! No? Book? Okay, what did I do wrong? Oh, uh, okay. Oh, 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 okay. There we go. February 11th. My research continues at a snail's pace with these books. Oh, wait, I already read that one. Okay, is that the same page it's supposed to be? A key. It looks like it was for winding up clock. And I know exactly where that's supposed to go. Excuse me. Over here. Down in here. And ker drop. And ker twist. And what did that do? Oh, we're moving over to the front. Ooh, is it going to be like a projection? Uh, now can I do this? No, no, I still can't do this. Wait, can I look at it with the lens? Nope, that still doesn't seem to do anything. Well, wonderful. I've got something spinning now. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, wait. Found one. Okay. It's the cross symbol on top of the... No. On top of the crazy, swirly box. I apologize for my uh, descriptive terms. It's the only way I'll remember. Okay, now I guess we could just sit here and slowly turn each one of these and hope that something happens. There we go. I know process of elimination and all. And what is this? A heavy cast iron key. Did I find something that could use that? I don't think it goes on any of doesn't go here, right? Oh, whoa, 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 hold on. It looks like a cross symbol with some sort of weird tip on the top. And a circular bottom. Okay. But it won't let me drag it, which is weird. Oh, does it go in here? Yes, yes, no? Maybe? Doesn't seem like it goes in here. This! No, this! Does not seem to attach to this. Where the heck is this thing supposed to go? Wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. This looks different. This one looks kind of different, and there was one over... This looks kind of different. Oh, okay. I didn't know I could click on that. Oh, ooh, what does this do? Uh, it's like I'm unscrewing a lip balm or chapstick or something. Okay, what did that do? Ooh, it looks like a miniature... T oh, okay, okay. That's probably 
what goes over here now, right? This sticks in here. Oh, I probably have to periscope it first. Oh my god, this game. Oh, nope. Every puzzle is another puzzle. And arrows. Line up the arrows. There we go. Ooh, pretty. Very good. All right, now the extended telescope should go. Oh, wow. That got really bright. It didn't seem to do anything just yet. Okay, do I have to go and do th uh, this first? Does this do anything now, or do I still need some sort of kindling there? Alright, now what? I don't seem to be able to rotate these now that they're placed. You know what? Maybe I can just look inside. There's nothing to see until it's continued. Well, ah, uh, fine. Fine, fine. I thought I had an idea. Apparently I didn't. Uh, what do you want from me, game? What do you want from me? I don't know what else you could possibly want. Everything else seems perfectly normal. Well, as normal as this weird, strange bot. Wait, hold on. Does that have the ribbing on? Oh, okay. It had the same ribbing as the. Is that paper? Cotton. Okay, now that I can burn. Now let's just go back down in here. Plop that into there. We ignite it by doing this. Excellent. Now I can probably look inside. So let's go ahead and take a little peek. Or not. Oh, 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 oh. This came out. Okay. So now I have to put this up here. Uh, and lock it into place. There we go. Now the chamber's up here. Okay. Now? Okay, now it's glowing. So now I should definitely be able to look inside. Okay, some guy with a creepy scratched out face looking at the box. Did that, then I saw. Would the eyepiece reveal anything? Oh, oh, okay. So let's try the Oh, tr trial. Okay. Also, yes, it does say a word, doesn't it? Man, that's creepy. His face is definitely... D nope, nope, um, oh, okay. I was gonna go move on to putting the word trial in, but apparently I have to do another one of these slidey puzzle dealies. Uh, there, oh, wait, 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 there. Is that not it? There. Still no. How about now? Oh, okay. I guess there's just teeny tiny little minute differences I was missing. And I needed the plate. Right. Because I only had four letters before. Now I have five. Which means I can spell trial over here. Take this and just slap that right in. Oh, I need an A. I'd like to buy a vowel. I'd like to buy several vowels, actually. An I and an A. I'm going to spell it backwards because I like making things difficult for myself. Creel. Um... Come down to T. There we go. Oh, uh, I'm not sure if I was done using that just yet. Uh, can I have that back, please? Oh. Why, thank you. One of the seals is open. Two more and I'll be in. And oh, apparently that opened up a washing machine. A, a washing machine that's decided to get very close to my face. And I have a strong feeling that that key probably goes into that keyhole. That's about time. I'm Foul Shane, and this has been Let's Play The Room Part 1. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I know this is a slight departure from the normal horror games that I play, but I just could not resist checking out this mysterious room escape game. And so far, I like the style that they're going for. It also does feel like it has a bit of a creepy atmosphere around it, so I'm hoping that, you know, with the creepy alchemical sigils and the guy with his face scratched out, that maybe there's going to be some sort of creepy, dark mystery behind all of this. Not to mention all of the illusions, or at least the, the similarities, towards Amnesia, which is one of the first games I ever played on my channel, so it's near and dear to my heart. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you like what you've seen, like, comment, subscribe, the buttons are all over on the screens, usually down below. Um, and I love hearing from you guys. I love hearing what you have to say, what you think, and what you want to see me play. So feel free to write whatever you want, as long as it abides by YouTube standards. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>